Hello, welcome to the first video in this series looking at creating records in Talis Engage. My name is Simon Burrows and I'd like to spend a few minutes showing you how easy it is to create records using Talis Engage Community Information Application. Once I've done this, I'll demonstrate a few tips that will make it easier for your community to find your records. I'll be doing this using Lancashire Lantern, which is Lancashire Library's Community Information Database, but the tips covered in this demonstration can be used across any implementation of Talis Engage. So let's start by looking at the homepage of the Lancashire website. I'm going to start by logging into the system, as I'm not able to create records until I've done this. Once I've logged in, I click the admin button and I'm presented with a list of options. Now the tasks available will depend upon the role you've been assigned, but there should be an option to create a record. So let's click on this. The first step is to select the type of record to create. Now I want to create a record for organisation, so I'm going to click on the Create icon adjacent to the Community Information Record type. And I'm presented with a blank template to fill in. The record I'm creating is for a new folk club based in Chorley, so I simply fill in the details. Here I'm adding the web address of the club so that readers can jump directly to their website. I'm also adding a postcode so that they can view the location using Google Maps. To create the record, I simply click the Save button. To check the record has been created, I'm going to click on the Home link and then enter Chorley Folk in the search box. And here we can see the record I've just created. To make the record easier to find, I'm going to add it to the library's subject hierarchy. To do this, I start by clicking the Edit the Record link, and then I click the Associated Subjects link, and click the Edit button. What I'm now looking at is the top level of subject categories. So I'm going to look in the Arts and Entertainments link to see if there's an appropriate music category that I can associate with this record. And here it is. To associate the record with it, I simply tick the appropriate checkbox and click the Add to Selected list. And you can see it's added beneath the Selected Subjects area. I can add as many of these as I like, so I'm going to add a more specific folk entry. And when I'm finished, I click the OK button. This means that someone browsing the subject category has a better chance of finding the record. To further increase the chances of a browsing user discovering this record, I can also add tags, which are keywords that are not limited by the subject categories. To do this, I again edit the record but this time select the Tags field and enter keywords that are appropriate to this record. Once I'm happy with the record, I need to ensure it's active before it can be found by the community. To do this, I again edit the record and then click on the Record Status tab. To make the record active, I click this checkbox and click Save. Now that the record is active, users can find it by clicking on the tag cloud or by browsing the subject hierarchy. Well, thanks for watching this short video about creating records in Talis Engage. For more information or to watch other videos in this series, please visit www.talis.com forward slash engage.